Chelsea, welcome to Birmingham City. How pleased are you to be joining the club? Yeah, I'm absolutely delighted to be here. Look, Birmingham City has always been a, a long-standing pioneer in the game of women's football, so it is a real privilege to be able to, to work together in that regard and join such a great football club. And from your chats with Amy and Hope, why did you decide that this was the right club for you with where you're at in your coaching career? Yeah, look, I think the big thing for me was the style and the brand of football, along with the beliefs and values within the club. Like obviously Hope, Amy, Emily, they've really implemented an, an attacking, a brave brand of football, which is something that's very close to my heart, uh, the style of football I like to, to kind of get into and provide my players with. So it just felt like a really, really good fit. And you've had a couple of days on the grass now here in Spain <laughs> with Amy, Emily and Tony. What has it been like to get into it with the rest of the technical stuff? Yeah, look, it's brilliant. I think the best learning about each other and kind of styles and approaches is on the grass. We can talk however much we want, but until we're actually on the grass and kind of getting that exposure with one another, that's where the real learning and the real development takes place. So it's, it's been brilliant. And of course, the players as well. How much are you looking forward to continuing that work with them? Yeah, look, brilliant, brilliant group of players. I think you have the, the nice mix between experience and kind of that youth coming through, which is excellent. That foundations that have already been built by the, the other coaches, Amy, Emily, Hope as well, have been excellent to this point. So it's really just kind of building on those foundations that are already in place and looking to develop a, as great a team as we can. And just a, a side note, there's a fair few Irish players in the <laughs> team. How good is it to have those here as well to like for you to like mix in with us? Yeah, it's good. It's, it's a nice little connection from home. A couple of Irish accents floating around. I'm, I'm not the only one. <laughs> So whenever no one else can understand me, I always have a few of the girls that they'll translate for me and be able to explain it. So it's good. And you spent last season at Western United mm -hmm. in the A-League Women in Australia. Yep. How good was that experience for you in your development? Yeah, look, it was excellent. Obviously, I'd, I'd moved across from an international setup. So that kind of step into professional football has been absolutely brilliant. I honestly can't thank Western enough for the opportunities, the experience, the guidance that they have provided me with. And I, I truly do believe that there's a great group of people and staff and players within that club that I've no doubt will go on to do great things. And you have a lot of experience in youth development, having worked yeah. with Ireland and under 17s, as you mentioned. Yeah. How are you hoping to use that experience with the younger players that we have here? Big part, big part for me and kind of a big philosophy as mine is, yes, we want to develop really good players, but we also want to develop really good people. So that's kind of an approach I look to adopt with those younger players coming through. How can we demonstrate that resilience, that mindset, that kind of never give up attitude, that effort, desire, all those beliefs that are beliefs of this club as well, that kind of really hone in on those players with them so that they do end up being an excellent player, but in addition, a good person with a great character as well. And just finally, you touched on it there, but how would you describe your coaching philosophy? Yeah, so like that, very, very big on developing players, not only, or developing people, not only players, sorry. So yes, we can give them all the tools to execute certain actions on the pitch, but if they don't have that belief, that desire, that relentless mindset, or that effort, nothing we do in training will then replicate onto the, onto the match pitch. So it's enabling those players with those beliefs and abilities to be able to execute no matter what the given situation is on match day. Well, Chelsea, it's great to have you here. Thank you. Happy to be here.